Hello LEGO Builders! In today's video I will be continuing my MILS series where I discuss the various MILS modules. Today's module will be the river system. Although kind of a little more difficult to make than some of the other modules, the river system is very important because it adds color and depth to your MILS landscape. Let's go ahead and get started. Similar to the four types of road modules from the last episode, the river has three types, the straight section, the curved section, and the intersection of two rivers. Today I'll be showing you how to make the straight section, but you can make the other two by following similar steps. As far as parts go, I will be starting with a mills base and subtracting a few pieces down the middle. I will also be adding blue plates to the river bottom, white and green plates to make the sides, and yeah, these rather hard to find trans blue plates. And I'll add some gray slants for some rocks. The river is installed below the general level of the plate, so I'll remove the center parts to make room for it. Just like the road, the river is an average of 8 studs wide and is centered along the edge of the plate. The river is bordered on either side by two stud wide plates in white, which are used to provide some color variation. Now I'll fill in the space between the white plates with a row of blue plates. Next I'll cover most of the white plates with two rows of green plates. At this point, I'll cover the outside edges with the 4x4 plates and finish building the banks of the river. Just to show you, the river is 8 wide at both ends, and next I'll fill in the river with the trans blue tiles. Now that the river is tiled, you can see that the white shows through the trans blue tiles and adds some variation to the color of the river. And there you have your mills module. From the side view, you can see how the river makes use of the mill's thickness to build below the grade. Oh, and one more thing, make sure to add some rocks and possibly some plants to make the river look a little more natural. Here's an example of what an, a river intersection would look like. Notice I still have the eight wide river on both sides, it'll go a little bit wider on this side. Um, however, it will still line up with another river piece. Uh, I tried also to make it so that you can see which way the river is flowing by curving the banks of the river a little bit and adding some rapids where the two pieces meet uh, as what would, what would happen in a normal river. The lake uses the same building technique as the river section. To make it, follow the same steps by placing the white plates, the blue plates, and the green plates, and, and then covering the outside. Since the lake is contained inside a single module, you can use whatever color tile you choose for the surface. I decided to use the light trans blue tile, but I've seen builds where they use the light trans green to make the lake look like it's full of algae, and then they add some cattails on the banks for some more effect. I mentioned earlier that the river module is harder to make than the other modules. What I mean by that is that it's harder to get the pieces to make the river. You have to cover about a 256 stud area, which means at 2 studs a tile you need 128 tile pieces. To give you some perspective, according to what I found on Bricklink.com, the trans dark blue piece appears in 101 sets with an average of 4 pieces per set. If you compare that with the very common piece 2x4 brick in white, red, or blue, you'll find that these are found in 500 plus sets each and have about six to seven bricks per set. So if you had a copy of every Lego set that was made, you would have about 4,000 white 2x4 bricks while only having about 400 trans dark blue tiles. This lower availability in sets, plus the fact that I've yet to see this piece on the brick wall, tends to mean a more costly purchase price. So basically, if you don't have enough tiles to cover the river, I suggest not using the white along the edges of the river and just coordinate with your fellow builders to not use the tile so that your overall diorama looks consistent. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.